Welcome to Stitch. This week's thought is written by Chaplain Tricia, who's at Lymington and Linda stations. With every deed you are sowing a seed, though you may not see it. Ella Wheeler Wilcox. As I write this, the nights are getting longer and the days shorter. September for me would normally be about the excitement and hopes of a new school year. There would be new exercise books in which the children would write their learning that comes with a new school term. September would mean harvest festivals and school assemblies and children bringing their harvest gifts to give to others. A time to celebrate with acts of sharing. I'm not sure what schools will do this year about harvest assemblies, but for me, in this time of coronavirus lockdown and restrictions, harvest has taken on a whole new meaning. We've been lucky enough to have enjoyed vegetables from the allotment a friend has been planting and watering throughout the year. He's now sharing his plentiful harvest. These vegetables don't come clean and perfect in shape and size like they do from the supermarket. They can be gnarled and in need of a good wash and scrub, but they are packed with goodness and taste divine. As I've handled these vegetables given as gifts, I am surprised afresh at their, at their promise for next year's harvest. They are packed with seeds and tell of the hope of bountiful harvests for years to come. We have witnessed some kind and caring acts over this last year, haven't we? Those working on the front line and in service to others. Doctors, nurses, paramedics, delivery drivers. And you. You have given more than anyone could ever ask or hope for. These acts of kindness, caring, bravery have a habit of bringing their own bountiful harvest, some of which you might never get to hear about. But one act of kindness can produce so many more in those that have received from it. And in this area, we are all blessed. Thank you for your caring, brave, kind acts of service. Three things in human life are important. The first is to be kind, the second is to be kind, and the third is to be kind. Henry James. And I'll leave you with that. Till next time.